Hello everyone. I am Hima Challa Upaluri. I am a doctor by profession and also have a master's in nutrition. I would like to share with you some very practical questions that we all have regarding diet and lifestyle practices. In this video, we will talk about one of the most complicated tasks in today's modern world, trying to maintain a good skin tone. Now, before we get into the do's and don'ts of how to maintain good skin, let's quickly talk about the layers of the skin. There are three layers. The topmost layer is called the epidermis, the middle layer is called the dermis, and the innermost subcutaneous fat tissue. The topmost layer, the epidermis, is what you see in you know, facial skincare procedures, when they are talking about uh, removing the dead skin, rejuvenation of skin, they are referring to your epidermis. The middle layer dermis has collagen tissue which gives the skin its elasticity and youthfulness and the innermost layer the fat tissue well there is not a lot that we can do about it as you keep aging you lose that fat tissue and your skin does not look like that baby skin anymore now let's start with what you should not be doing in order to maintain a good skin tone first and the most important one is make sure you don't eat foods which are cooked in harmful vegetable oils. These oils, once heated, get oxidized and form superoxide radicals. So once you consume these foods, they not only damage your heart, lungs, kidney, but they also get to your skin. Now, once they reach your skin, especially the layer called the dermis, they cause inflammation and that leads to destruction of the collagen tissue and that then leads to formation of wrinkles, faster skin aging and skin pigmentation. It also makes your skin more susceptible to bacterial infections and leads to formation of cystic acne. Also another food that you need to avoid is high fructose corn syrup. These sugars are found in processed foods, uh, packaged foods, and their effect is pretty much similar to those of the vegetable oils. The next thing to avoid is excessive sun exposure. Now, I'm not saying that don't go on beach vacations or enjoy the sunshine, but just do so in moderation. Because the sun rays have this radiation called the ultraviolet radiation and studies have shown that ultraviolet radiation can cause skin cancers. They can also cause skin pigmentation and sunburns. So make sure you apply a good quality sunscreen, preferably a physical sunscreen which has zinc and titanium in it. Now next, let's talk about what are the foods that you should be eating so you can maintain beautiful skin. Try to include foods that build collagen like bone broth and also include omega-3 fatty acids which are present in nuts, fish and green vegetables. So there you go, that's the simple recipe to maintain beautiful skin. Avoid eating harmful vegetable oils and processed sugars. Avoid excessive sun exposure. Make sure to apply a good quality sunscreen and eat foods which help you build collagen and omega-3 fatty acids. Stay beautiful and have a good life. If you have any questions, do let me know and I will be glad to answer.